Almost all of my books have animals in them. And some of them are true stories, like this one is actually a true story. It's about me, because when I was young, I was a big chicken. What? I was a big chicken. What does that mean when someone says you're a big chicken? Does it mean you're afraid? I was afraid of all kinds of things when I was young, and so I wrote this story about being afraid. And I wrote a story about cows, and I've written a story about a sheep, and I'm working on one right now about pigs, about pigs. So I do really like um, writing about animals. And this book is my very newest book called Doggone Feet, and it's a little bit about my dog. There's a picture in the back of my dog. She's much smaller than Zeus. She's just a little white, fluffy dog. But I've had lots of dogs over the years, and my dogs have always liked to be under the kitchen table. Now, why would a dog like to be under a kitchen table? To lick your toes. What else might they do under the table? Why do dogs like to be under a table, do you think? Because the food is de get falls down there, right? Yeah. And my dog used to like to sit under my son's chair, especially because he was a very messy eater. And that's what made me think of writing this story about a dog who likes to eat things from different people at the table. So I am going to read this story to you. And we don't have big pictures, so I'll do my best to show you the pictures. I did do the art in this book. I don't do the art in all of my books, but I have. I did the art in this one, and I did the art on the cow book there. And I am in the middle of painting pigs right now. Although when the weather's nice, it's really hard to stay inside and paint pigs. But that one will be out next, next year. So I'd like to read this to you, and then we're going to do a song that goes with this story, too. Um, Great Danes normally get to about that tall. So he is about a foot taller than the average Great Dane. The Dane that we took the record from, Giant George, um, is one inch taller. He is one inch taller than Giant George. So in animal terms, one inch is massive. <laughs> um, his shaking, oh, Zeus. <laughs> Stay here, buddy. Um, his shaking isn't because he's cold or he's scared. Um, we actually took him to a professional last Thursday or Friday, I believe, so about a week ago. Um, and they said that it was more than likely a thinning of the spinal cord or something, and as of right now, they don't suggest any treatment or anything. We just gotta make sure to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't progressive further. Um, what else do you think? How much does she eat? He eats. Uh, Zeus eats quite a bit, as I'm sure you would imagine. He eats about 10 cups of dry dog food a day. Plus, we give him about one or two cans of, like, canned dog food. And whatever we happen to have for dinner that night, he gets leftovers. How much does he weigh? Uh, he is 167 pounds. Dog. Yeah, he's, uh... And he's friendly. Oh, absolutely. He is, um, according to our vet, he is at the perfect weight for his height, because if he got any heavier, then it'd be really bad for his joints and bones.